Okay, so we have completed six models, and in all of these models, we have taken a lower term fraction, and we have renamed it using higher terms in all of these examples. So now we're going to be looking at the last row, number two. We're going to be shading the fraction and, write, and then write two equivalents. And as I scan and kind of survey, I'm looking to see that I'm starting with a higher denominator and I notice that my denominator is getting smaller as I think about renaming this fraction. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to observe that we have 100 equal pieces. So our denominator is 100 and my numerator is 20. So right now I'm going to take my highlighter and I'm going to shade 20 equal pieces. So we have 20 equal pieces because that's 10 and 20. And now I want to think about taking this 100 and going from 100 to the number 10. So if I take 100 equal pieces and I go down to the number 10, I'm taking 1 tenth of that. So I'm only going to be looking at 10 pieces. So we're going to divide our model into just 10 equal pieces. So now we're only looking at this green marking. And ignore the horizontal markings. So now we're just looking at two tenths because we have one tenth and two tenths. So record your two tenths as your numerator. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our two tenths and rename it as something fifths. So just like we did before, if I take the number 10 and I take half of that, I'm going to be looking at five equal pieces. So I'm going to trade my colors again and now I'm only going to be getting those five equal cuts, which we know is every other marking from our practice above. So now we have one of the five pieces shaded. So our numerator name is one fifth. So if we look quickly at our relationships, what happened to go from the number 10 to the num I mean from the number 100 to the number 10? Well, we were getting smaller, and when we get smaller with things, we are not multiplying anymore, but we're using that relationship of division. And that division, we're dividing by the number 10 on the bottom. And if we take the number 20 and we divide it by 10 on the top, we will get that new relationship of two tenths. So again, if I think about what is happening from the number 10 to the number 5 and the number 2 to the number 1 are getting smaller. So that relationship is to divide here. And how are we dividing? If we take 10 and we get the number 5, we're cutting that in half or we're dividing it into two equal pieces. And if I take the number 2 and I divide it into two equal pieces, I will get 1 on top. So our new fraction name is 1 fifth. Looking at answer number B. So again, I'm looking at my fraction 80 hundredths. I'm glancing across. I'm noticing that my denominator is getting smaller. And so I want to find some equivalents in lower terms. Remember, we're going from high terms to lower terms. We're just renaming that fraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is shade in 80 of the 100 pieces. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So we have 80 of the 100 pieces. And if I think about getting smaller from the number 100 to the number 10, I'm going to be dividing that by 10. So now I'm going to be taking this and just cutting it into 10 equal pieces. So there's one, there's two equal pieces, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And if I think of this as being tenths, I'm not thinking about it being eighty equal pieces, but I'm thinking about it being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces. Because eighty divided by the number ten will give me eight. So remember, these are the same amounts shaded. No more, no less was shaded, but we renamed it using different numbers. And smaller numbers. Smaller numbers is a little more efficient to look at. And finally, we're looking at our last denominator name of 5. So we're thinking about how can we go from the number 10 to the number 5. Again, I can take 10 and cut it into 2, or divide it by 2, and I will get 5 equal parts. So, I'm going to take my orange, and I'm going to cut this into fifths. So, we have 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and 5 fifths. And... If I think about how many are shaded here, so this is one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and four fifths. So four fifths is equivalent to eight tenths, which is equivalent to eighty hundredths. And if I think about eight, being divided by 2, that number is 4. So it all makes sense. Are you noticing that whatever we, whatever relationship we keep on the bottom, we're also keeping on the top every single time, that that relationship is not changing? All right, and we're on our last model for today. So when I observe this and I see 50 hundreds, I first think, okay, we've got 100 equal pieces. I need to shade in 50. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. There's my 50 equal pieces. I'm thinking about that relationship and going from the number 100 to the number 10. And so now I'm going to cut that into 10 equal parts. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 9 cuts will give you 10 equal parts. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five of the ten pieces that are highlighted. I'm going to take that down again because I'm getting smaller with my fraction name. And so if I go from the number 10 to the number 2, I am going to divide that in by 5 to get two equal pieces. So now I have two equal pieces. I have one, two. I'm cutting those ten equal pieces into five on this side and five on that side. That's what I just did. And I'm going to shade those. And I can clearly see that I have 
one piece shaded out of two. And so if we think about that relationship again of five being divided by five, we get the number one. Because if I take five and then divide it by five, I get one whole piece, one piece. And so our smallest fraction name, our lowest terms number is one half. Quickly, I want you to relate this to decimals. If I think about one half, I know many of you know that that is 0.5 or 0 0.50. Look at how that is related. Here is 50 hundredths. Here is 5 tenths. Again, if I think about 4 fifths and I wanted to turn that into a decimal quickly, I would know that is 8 tenths, which is right here, or 80 hundredths, which is represented right here. And finally, if I think about 1 fifth, I can think about that as 2 tenths, because the 2 is in the tenths place, or 20 hundredths. 20 hundredths because 20 ends in the hundredths place. All right. So now what I'd like you to do is turn it over to the back and see what you can do on your own. You have some very similar um, examples to the front. Use the front as a guide. Get as far as you can. And when you're finished, I'd like you to put this in your blue folder. We will be checking at the beginning of class on Wednesday.